So you started rapping consistently yeah. after that, right? How soon after that did you meet Kodak? I met Kodak. I met Kodak. I met Kodak when, um, before I got shot. Okay. See, me and Kodak, we met right down the street. That was my studio down the street. Okay. Me and Kodak, Kodak used to ride. Like, him and three other jits rode, rode a bike to, to my studio. Mm -hmm. You know, but all them jits used to come every day, just post up at the studio. But all of them stopped coming, but Kodak kept coming. But Kodak never said much. That's what I know said my deal. I used to be feeling myself, you know what I'm saying, going all about, you know what I'm saying, but Kodak recorded a song, that, that ambition. Like you probably seen it, that ambition. Mm -hmm. He recorded that right now in our studio. And then we, I'm just going through the computer one day and then we all hear it. And we like, damn, who the fuck this is? He was 14 when he recorded that. Yeah, we mm -hmm. like, who the fuck, we, the fuck this is? They like, oh, that's little Jay Black who be coming up on the bike. I'm like, damn, that nigga a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then from there, <clears throat> we just always been tight, you know what I'm saying? And then, due to the fact I got shot, then like, I got in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Kodak kept going, like AD, that was my manager. So when you seen that, I ain't really wanna rap no more, I was in the streets, AD picked up Kodak. So it's like, I fumbled the ball, Kodak picked it up and scored a touchdown. Right. So, let's rerun that. So, you heard the ambition. Did you reach out to Kodak or y'all just kind of like was always around each other at the studio? At this time, we was always around each other. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know he rapped. Yeah. Okay. They didn't know he was bad as he was either. So I asked about him in the streets and they like, that's bad as Jay Black. Right. Around me, he was just quiet. Right. So are you from 1800 block or are y'all from two different parts of Pompton? I'm from two different parts. Okay. I'm from right here, 1800 block. Right there, if you look that way, you got 1800 block. Right. But I'm from right here, you can look that way and see where I'm from. Okay. So, what do you think was so special about Kodak that, that, that made you, you know, uh, gravitate and the people gravitate to him? You chose him. You chose him. Be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was y'all ever in the same like group or crew, or is it just like affiliates? Like y'all was just all yeah. together. Coleon, he a Coleon. He doing his thing, you know, but to his heart, he's a Coleon. <coughs> Do you think it's like, more? It's more not like a group. More like a brotherhood. A Coleon is a brotherhood. Yeah. So like besides all the rap shit and all that, though, he a Coleon. Do you think he like studied a lot from you growing up? Like, cause like all of his pictures is like, is you and him, you know? I you know. I ain't gonna say that, but I, we the same, bro. We down to the same, grow up the same way. Same thing, dress alike, talk alike. The same. Did you like, uh, cause he been through a lot of street um, he been in a lot of situations in, in, in the streets uh, with the laws. Have you ever like tried to like sit him down and like tell him that wasn't the way to go, or you know? Not really. I never got a chance because like he was doing all that. I wasn't know. I wasn't level headed. You know what I'm saying? So when I had him like at the point where I could tell him what to do, I fucked up. And by the time. I got back level head, he was already a boss. You can't talk, you can't really tell a boss when they're doing under you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now one thing you said that really stood out to me was you fumbled and he, and he scored. Was that after you went to jail? You got in another situation? Or is it just? No, I got shot. The nigga went to dime. Okay. So you got shot after you went to jail? No, I got. I went to jail. Mine got to jail at 16. I got out when I was 21. Mm -hmm. Then I went to rapping. Caught a buzz. Then I got shot. Okay. Right. Then I got in the street, stopped rapping all that, going to dumb shit. Then Kodak bubbled. Right, okay. So it was like, I was running the ball. I fumbled. He picked it up, scored. We're on right. the same team though. Right, straight up, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. So, when you recorded No Flocking, before it took off, did you already know that was a hit? Or was it just like another record? I ain't heard it until it was a hit. Man, I gotta understand. I wasn't, Kodak went that way, I went this way. Kodak was in the studio, I was on some other shit. Yeah. 
Not necessarily in the streets, I was just in isolation. Paranoid, I ain't like people. But when I, when I heard it, it was already a hit. I was late. Yeah. So had you decided to leave the streets alone? 100% and just be a rapper? Yeah, or you still like 50-50? I'm a full-time rapper. I rap. That's what I do, I rap. Yeah. But I still beat niggas up every, every week. Yeah. Just, just, just to let a nigga know. How would you explain Kodak? Like, what kind of dude is you? Like, is he, is he goofy? Is he quiet? Like, what type of dude is Kodak? Kodak or Coleon? That's it. Kodak and Kodak, same person. Kodak don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> a young nigga don't give a fuck about nothing. If he don't like you, he don't like you. He ain't gonna act like he like you. What's one of the craziest moments y'all had together? Like, did you, mean, did you remember? Like, what's, what's a crazy story that nobody knows about? Oh, I can't speak on that, but coming from, um, from KOD. Y'all probably seen the video when we got pulled over by police when, when Kodak said, shoot me, I don't care. He told the police to shoot him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at night, come for KOD, me and Kodak fall in the backseat the whole, the whole way home. Talking about bite me, everything, all type of shit on that oil. That's how we end up getting pulled over. That's the crazy night. So you and Kodak was in the backseat fighting? Yeah, tussling. You know that's my little for brother. What? <laughs> he was drunk. He get drunk sometimes, don't give a fuck about nothing. So like, how did the cops see? Did the cops see y'all fighting or what? Like, nah, cause the, the dual wheel driver was speeding. When they pulled, I said, "Kodak, this is tied now. Just straighten your ass up. Get right. You got right, doc. <laughs> got that registration, everything. It was in his car. Yeah, but everything is straight. Man. Right now, he, Kodak also said um, earlier this year that he was better than uh, Biggie and Pop. What did you like? How did you feel about that statement when he said that? He went wrong. Cause that's a real, that's a real like you gotta have. That's a real brave. That's like you can't just say that. Like you know what I'm saying? And not back it up. Like like a lot of people was mad at him at the moment. They ain't never freestyled against each other though. That's just like saying thirty one can beat me up. We ain't never fought. You can't beat me until you beat me, bro. You can't, you can't, that's his opinion, ain't the fact, the fact is something that can be proven. And there's no way you can prove that, like, they can't go toe for toe right now. That's his opinion. Y'all got any music together um, that's, that haven't been put out yet? We got plenty of music together that ain't been put out. Okay. What's some artists that you want to work with in the future? Lucci. Lucci. 